Hi, in this short video I'll show you how to hide some visible seams on a 3D model a texture in Substance Paint. First of all, you need to understand how to create a 3D model with a good topology and remember one of the main rules of UV unwrapping. You should always hide all your seams. In fact, sometimes it happens that all rules are simply not followed. So in these cases, everything depends on the situation. As you can see, I imported my model into a substance paint. And here is the model with the normal and ambient occlusion maps created in Momosa Toolbag. In addition to all the other mesh maps I've done here, my model has a lot of visible seams. Some of them are placed between the shoulder and the body, on the fingers, a few on the neck, and so on. So, I'm going to hide it all. Changing the options between Dirtex and OpenGL in the project settings seems to fix this issue. But when you try to import your textures from Substance Painter to other software, the problem reappears. Ok, in order to fix all visible seams, you need to make sure that all of your mesh maps are already baked. I created a new folder and covered without seams, just for presentation. Next I create a new layer and fill layer and place them in the folder I created. After this step, in Layers window, I switch base color to normal, and then I switch normal map details to normal for both my layers. When it's done, I go to drop down menu of 3D report and change material mode to normal plus height plus mesh. It's important to place layer above the fill layer and turn on only normal workspace for both layers. In cases when selected all workspaces but you need just only one, you can easily select one that you need using Alt and left mouse button. Next I drag and drop the normal map created in Mama set to the normal workspace of the fill layer. Now I go to normal workspace of layer and select default blue color from viewport without a gradient. After that I just go to the texture set settings window and change the combine of normal mixing to replace. Ok, I return again to the material tab in the corner of the viewport and then I select brush of the layer and uh, start painting on the scenes. I don't want to remove all my high poly details that were baked, so I reduce the size of my brush and add a blur filter. Uh, blur intensity needs to be adjusted manually. This method helps to repair a majority of visible seams, but sometimes uh, exist uh, some areas where seams still show. In these cases you can play around with uh, parameters that shown in this tutorial and try to mix them according to your personal cases. There may also be some issues that needs to be solved on previous stages um, using modeling software or Marmoset Tilberg or even Photoshop. It all depends on the situation. I always start my work in Substance Painter by hiding visible seams. Just for comparison, here are some basic color texture. As you can see here is one case with texture but no painted seams and the opposite case where I painted seams. When the texture are exported and used uh, in other software, all drawn seams will become invisible. I hope you like this approach. Stay invincible, done.